Thanks for joining us. I'm Liam Martin with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories, 11 children and five adults forced from their Dorchester homes overnight by a fire. There are no injuries. Boston fire crews were able to quickly put out the flames at this triple decker on Lucerne Street. The Red Cross is helping the displaced families. The cause of the fire is under investigation. A massive fire meantime destroys a furniture store in Rhode Island overnight. You can see the raging flames tearing through knock on wood furniture in Lincoln. The fire broke out just before midnight. Part of the roof has collapsed. No word on how the fire started. The royal couple keeping busy on their final day here in Boston. The Prince of Wales is set to visit the JFK Library, where he's also going to meet with President Biden. In the meantime, Catherine will be stopping by Harvard University. And then later tonight, They'll be right in Fenway for the star-studded Earthshot Prize Ceremony at the MGM Music Hall. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast now with meteorologist Zach Green. Hey, Zach. Hey, Liam. It is a spectacular way to wrap up our week. Mostly sunny skies, but the common theme will be calmer winds. Finally out of the way of those peak gusts from Wednesday into Thursday. And right back to seasonal averages, too. We're going to land in the mid-40s for our highs. We are going to actually get a little bit warmer as we move into the overnight hours due to the overcast skies that are eventually going to slip on in. So instead of seasonal averages tomorrow, Tomorrow, we're going to be closer to 60 degrees comes at a price though. We get another round of rain and wind starting off in Worcester County, central and western Massachusetts tapping into this by the late morning. We'll get more of the spillover factor once we go between about 2 and 4 o'clock on the eastern side of Massachusetts. At that point it's the warmest hours of the day. It's the steadiest rain. It's also the peak wind gusts of 35 to nearly 45 miles per hour. There's sort of a lull or an end to this first round as we get closer to the six or seven o'clock window. We'll catch a little bit of a break, but then we get another little resurgence of scattered showers as the front is actually going to move through. So still some spotty conditions as we go into about eight or nine p.m. Anywhere from two to maybe three tenths of an inch has always seemed to squeeze out of this one. So not exactly the soaker that we had on Wednesday. Still going to be kind of nuisance here and there though for the second half of Saturday. There are those peak winds coming out of the south and southeast, and that's eventually going to let it swell itself down to about 10 to 15 miles per hour on Sunday morning. So if you're thinking of doing outdoor decorations or outdoor plans, second half of the weekend is going to be your best bet. We'll keep that in play for early next week too. Monday is a winter back near 48 degrees. Tuesday and Wednesday we get another shot of rain, Liam. All right, Zach, thank you. I'm Liam Martin. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day, everybody.